Hi Cancer, the details to this reading are located in the description box, but be sure to only take what resonates and leave what does not resonate for someone else. At the end, I'll be pulling you a surrender card and then I'll pull cards for their sign, the person you're dealing with. We're going to see just whatever wants to come out. Thank you guys for liking the video. I really appreciate all of your support. What is the message for Cancer? Okay, a lot of attention coming your way, Cancer. A lot of attention coming in here. So you're going to be successful. And then you're going to get recognized. A lot of recognition. Let's see what else. Queen of Swords. You're unstoppable is what I'm getting. Yeah, look at this. The Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck for what you don't see, judgment. You know what? You don't give yourself enough credit, Cancer, for being resilient, all right, and unstoppable. That you don't let anything get in the way of what it is you truly want. So you're making all the right decisions. It's like even though you can't see five steps ahead of you, you're still making these clear-cut decisions with the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is direct, and she just decides. So I feel like that could either be advice or this is what you're doing, and it's turning, you know, things around in your life. It's I see you being really successful because you're just going at something full force. The Knight of Pentacles, you're staying loyal and committed to something here. Nine of Pentacles... Eight of Wands, you're going to be leveling up. I actually see something here having great potential to set you up for financial success. But this is just you really feeling good about yourself and where you are. So I'm getting 2023, you're going to be accomplishing a goal here of yours. People take notice of your, you know directness, the way you carry yourself. You come across as someone who's very strong, strong minded. Okay. Someone who has a lot of respect for themselves and it's attracting a lot of attention. You clearly give off this energy that you love yourself. You're not afraid to go after what it is you want. And you're not afraid to put the work in either. I, I just, I see you getting a lot of attention because of that. Yeah, you're walking away from things that just are not serving you. A lot of you guys have maybe fallen into a period of introspection here recently. But it's like, I feel like you're tired of, you're, you're tired of disappointing yourself is what I'm trying to say. Like you're tired of being disappointed and you're also tired of disappointing yourself. And I feel like you realize you disappoint yourself every single time you let someone cross your boundary with the Queen of Swords, or every time you say yes, when you really want to say no, things like that. So I feel like you're just walking away from things that don't serve you, things that don't benefit you, or you know that you can't take with you where you're going. So it feels to me like the beginning of 2023, in the end of 2022, you're wanting to travel light. Yeah, a lot of you guys just feel like you've, you know, you could quite literally be leaving behind an Aquarius, okay? It doesn't have to be an Aquarius. You could quite literally be leaving behind someone who, you know, has been very deceptive toward you. And you're like, you know what? I can't take you with you where I can't take you with me where I'm going. You're not a part of my success in the future. All right. Others of you guys, you just kind of feel like you have been deceiving yourself. Sab this is like self-sabotaging behavior. Some of you guys are finally fed up with, uh, you know, sabotaging whatever it is you want. And you've had enough. And so you're taking the bull by the horns here. Yeah, you're making a decision with the two of swords in reverse. You're just making a decision to choose yourself. I feel like you're taking off the rose-colored glasses 
and you're no longer staying blind to sabotaging your success here, okay? Yeah, and a strong energy of just putting an ending to the self-sabotage, putting an ending to allowing people to walk all over you, just kind of going through a massive transformation here, okay? And you will be successful. That's your main message. Um, let's take a look at any sort of like previous people here. Tell me about this previous person that cancer was dealing with. They want a second chance. I see someone coming back your way. You're going to see this person again. There's a reunion coming in from a past person. Could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Sagittarius, Libra. But it could be any sign. But somebody wants you back. They know they let you down, okay? They're very disappointed. And I'm getting actually like somebody here, for a while they were afraid to show their face, but there's some unpredictable energy coming out here, okay? Like they were, they were ashamed of what they did or their lack of action. And I see this person, they're final, they're, they're going to make the impulsive urge to approach you. It says, I knew exactly what I was doing. So this person wasn't stupid. They knew that their actions were going to disappoint. They knew that they were going, you know, what they were doing was wrong. They still find you attractive. Okay. Somebody here has it bad for you. They have a strong urge, a strong desire to come towards you. There's definitely something here about physical attraction and energetic attraction. This person, you're... It's kind of like they feel like magnetically drawn to you. What about any new people? How does the new person feel about cancer? They're, they feel like they, they have to wait for you. They feel like there's not much happening here. It's killing them to wait. It pains them to wait on you. So somebody feels like they're never going to get communication from you or they feel as if it hurts them to hear back from you. So you could possibly take a long time to respond to someone or it's like they're having a hard time reading your body language. Yeah, they're wondering if you're this new person is kind of wondering if you're even as interested in them as you are in uh, they're wondering if you're as interested in them as they are in you. Okay, I feel this person's just trying to remain grounded. But there's a lot of uncertainty coming from them wondering about you. And the Ten of Swords tells me this, there's a fear of this not working out. But that could just be paranoia. How do they see cancer? They see you as someone they want to be in a relationship with, okay? They also see you as someone who's very in control of themselves, all right? Like, you do come across as an alpha. You could possibly be like a lone wolf or somebody here that doesn't have to have a lot of people around them, or at least that's how they perceive you. And it can be quite intimidating, okay? But they still like that about you. Let's pull you some advice. What's Cancer's advice? Is there any advice for Cancer, please? Okay, Seven of Wands. Uh, push away anything that seems toxic. Okay, get rid of it. Anything that gives you toxic vibes, anything that starts to make you feel as if it's trying to gain control over you, anything that's inauthentic, okay? Your your guides are wanting you to keep anything inauthentic at arm's length. So it looks like you're doing that, all right? Like I said in the beginning, you're walking away from things that just do not serve you. But just be mindful of any sort of toxic attachments, okay? The stars here, I, I feel like you're being guided to heal. And don't allow the devil to tempt you again.
the devil can be anything, whatever your temptation is, okay? It can be a situation that shows back up that reminds you of a past situation. Whoever you view the devil as here in the future, just don't be tempted, don't be swayed. Don't let it backtrack your healing, okay? And at the end of the day, the star card being here, it's like, once you've healed, you're going to feel like any, you're going to be able to distinguish between authenticity and inauthenticity. You're going to be able to clearly see the difference. So just focus on your healing and push away things that are not authentic or not part of your purpose or your soul's evolution. What does cancer need to surrender? It says surrender to the natural world. Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. So go somewhere that you find aesthetically pleasing. Okay, um, your guides are definitely wanting you to get outside more. Go somewhere that is aesthetically pleasing for your eyes and, you know, someplace comfy too. Like somewhere where, you know, you can just, I I'm just getting like somewhere you can just appreciate how beautiful it is. All right. Anywhere. Okay. We're going to do their sign. Okay. This is. Aries through Pisces. Signs you could be dealing with in this reading. I have Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Leo. Scorpio, strong Scorpio and Leo is here. Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Could be any sign though, okay, because it's a general reading. All right, let's see. Aries through Pisces for Cancer. Aries through Pisces for Cancer. Okay, if you are dealing with an Aries, this Aries is really attracted to you. I see an Aries coming back your way. If you're dealing with a Taurus, they're in love with you. All right, this Taurus wants a committed relationship. They find you beautiful. They find, uh, this is, this Taurus really thinks that you guys could have a beautiful life together. If you're dealing with a Gemini, the Gemini is focused on their career right now. If you're dealing with another cancer, they're held back, focused on their stability and security. If you're dealing with a Leo, you're a wish come true, a dream come true for a Leo. If you're dealing with a Virgo, this Virgo is having a tower moment. They did not expect to feel this way about you. If you're dealing with a Libra, the Libra is in mental conflict over you. I'm getting like you live in this Libra's head. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they're very passionate about you, the lovers. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, there's a strong attraction they have for you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, this Capricorn feels like you may reject them. They come back your way. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, I see a message coming in from an Aquarius. They're still interested. If you're dealing with a Pisces, things are going to balance out between you and this Pisces. Okay, I'm also getting some type of truth getting revealed. Yeah, the high priestess. There's a secret coming out about a Pisces. All right, Cancer, those are your messages. Thank you guys so much for joining. If this gave you clarity, thank you for liking the video, and I will see you next time. Bye.